morning. How was your day yesterday? Were you able to do something good for someone? Were you able to grasp any opportunity to increase your knowledge about God? I hope so. And I hope that we continue to look for those opportunities to do good things for somebody so that they will see the goodness of God and to grasp opportunities to increase our knowledge about our great God. As we begin our study today, let's pray. Great God, show us your greatness today in a special way. Help us to see that whatever we can't do on our own, you will do for us as we put our trust in you. Teach us to depend on you for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. This morning we'll be looking at the next verse in 2 Peter 1, and that is verse 6. Add to knowledge self-control, to self-control, perseverance, to perseverance, godliness. Here we see that we are to go after self-control. Self-control is about controlling your passions instead of letting your passions control you. Now, we've been studying the book of Second Peter. Who wrote that book? You're right, Peter, one of the most impulsive people in the New Testament. At least that's what he was. That is what he was before Jesus changed him. Peter is a picture of Christian growth. The man who was once a blundering apostle with no self-control at all, is now an apostle and leader of the early church. If God can control him, he can control me and you too, and bring that kind of growth and stability into our lives. Self-control has to do with the person who is able to master his sensual desires and his passions. What are your passions? You need to ask yourself this question. Where do I need to improve in self-control? Is it in your eating? Is it in your drinking? Maybe it's in your choices of entertainment. How about your finances and how you spend your money and what priorities your spending shows? Maybe it's in regard to my anger or my tongue. Maybe it's my sexuality that I need to improve in self-control over. If you want to grow in spiritual life, you need to grow in self-control right across the board. So target the areas you need to work on now. The Holy Spirit lives in you, so you don't need to worry about not having the power you need. Ask him for help and go after developing that self-control. In the verse we just read, Peter tells us to add something to self-control. What was it? That's right, perseverance. Perseverance means pressing on when you want to give up. If you want to be useful to Jesus, you need to have perseverance. Perseverance grows from self-control. I, I used to think there was really no order to this list that Peter gives, that it was kind of given randomly. But now I'm beginning to see that there is some order to this. Because without self-control, perseverance is impossible. The impulsive person gives up easily. He's pushed around by what he feels at any moment so that when he gets fed up he wants to give up if you can grow in self-control you won't give up so easily if you want to be useful to jesus you need to be able to stay the course through difficult and discouraging times where in your life do you need to persevere 
look at it as a God-given way to help develop Christian character in this life. All of us have things we need to learn to control. All of us then have an opportunity to grow in perseverance. Perseverance means having patience, being persistent. Now, if there's one thing I need more of, it's patience. In Hebrews 10.36, there's something that God uses to speak directly to me. This verse says, for you have need of patience. Why do I need patience? The Bible explains it like this, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. The promise is a home in heaven. At the beginning of this series, that's where we decided we want to go. I need patience or perseverance to get there. Having patience and developing perseverance means that I will bear pains or trials calmly, without complaint. I will manifest forbearance under provocation or strain. I won't be hasty or impetuous. I will remain steadfast in spite of opposition, difficulty, or adversity. Do I measure up? Definitely not. I hope you measure up more than I do. But all of us have areas we need to work on. I still lose my temper. I still get angry. What am I going to do about that? I shouldn't get discouraged. I need to cling to Jesus and keep diligently working on growing with him in the areas where I need to grow. So look at your life. How are you in, in these areas? Today we have looked about at self-control and perseverance. Those are actually two areas that are difficult for many of us. But don't forget, God has given us the power. We have the Holy Spirit who can help us to grow in both these areas. Let's ask God to help us. Father, self-control and perseverance are, are hard. Thank you that you give us power to develop these qualities in our lives and to strengthen them. Help us to actively work on the areas where we need to work more. For each of us, that will be different. Show us what we need most. Help us to learn to have self-control and to have perseverance. In Jesus' name, amen.